Okay, so one more VSEPR example, and we're going to do sulfur dioxide. Okay, so again, as usual, when we want to draw the molecular geometry for a molecule, we need to start with the Lewis structure. And so sulfur has six valence electrons. Each of those oxygens also has six. No charge on the molecule, so we don't need to add or subtract any electrons. We're going to end up with 18 valence electrons. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw the structure. I'm going to start sketching it out. Sulfur is the central atom. I'm going to bond those two oxygens on there. And how many electrons have we used? We've used four so far, two in each of those bonds. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Okay. And then we have two left, so we're going to have to put them on this sulfur. Okay. All right, now we have an interesting issue here, don't we? Because sulfur doesn't have an octet, and these oxygens, they each have an octet. So we're going to have to make one of these pairs share. Now remember, this isn't going to affect our geometry, but just to get the correct Lewis structure, let's go ahead and do this. It'll also remind us about resonance forms. Okay, so I will redraw it now. So I have our lone pair there, double bonded oxygen here, single bonded oxygen here. Okay, so now sulfur has an octet. It also has a plus one formal charge, six valence electrons, minus 5 assigned, so again this is review, and a negative formal charge, negative 1 formal charge on that oxygen, the other oxygen has a 0 formal charge. Alright, so just to remind you, let's go ahead and draw the other resonance form, because remember it takes both resonance structures to describe the bonding in sulfur dioxide. Okay, alright, so that was a little aside. All right, so let's go back to our structure. Now let's just pick one of these resonance forms and look at the steric number. All right, so let's go ahead and look at this one. Doesn't matter though, you could pick either one. Okay, so steric number for sulfur dioxide is three. So if you said three, you are right. Okay, and so that means it's a trigonal pointer basic geometry. Okay, those ideal bond angles are 120 degrees. Okay, and so um, now let's go ahead and draw this, showing the geometry. So there's our lone pair. And there are our oxygens approximately 120 degrees. Remember also that you don't absolutely have to show the double bond. If you do, it's fine. If you don't, uh, that's okay too. But the geometry for this molecule is, it's a trigonal planar basic geometry, but what is the actual geometry? Okay, so yes, so if you said bent, you are correct. All right, and what is the bond angle? So we have one lone pair, it's going to squeeze those two oxygens closer together and make that bond angle a little bit smaller than 120 degrees. And so that's right. Okay. All right. And so the last thing to do, actually, I, we did it all. We named the structure, we determined the bond angle, and we drew the molecular geometry.